It's a celebration. You sisters, you sisters, Kaylin look nervous tonight. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Them first two early fouls, man. That just was a huge mistake on the league's part, man. Um, um, it was just a huge mistake to like give her two ticky tack files, man. Um, yeah, it was just, it, it, it's just like, I just don't, I just didn't get that, man. The next game, they're not going to have as many people watching as this. They had one chance. The WNBA had one chance. And it wouldn't have mattered if she played bad, but we needed, to, we needed to at least see her out there. And for her to get two fouls early. A lot of people don't have time to watch 30 minutes of girls basketball without Caitlin Clark on the floor. Press one. They made you watch 30 minutes of girls basketball with those other girls. And it's like, uh, that shit was kind of like hard to watch. I ain't even gonna lie, man. Watching them other girls on the court was kind of hard to watch, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. It was kind of hard to watch, man. It was kind of hard to watch all those girls running around, like, falling all over themselves and shit. <laughs> and I'm saying Caitlyn wasn't, didn't struggle, but we tuned in to watch her. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying we tuned in to watch her. So it was different. Like, if she would have struggled, we would it would just tune in, in to see her. And then they took her out the game for 30 minutes. It's I was like, damn, she was it, it's like, yo, you gotta watch this game for 30 minutes. I'm not talking about 30 minutes on the clock, but 30 minutes of real time. 30 minutes, like a half an hour of real time. You're watching the, the broadcast, the telecast, and she's on the bench. And it's like, oh my God. You can see why the WNBA is, is 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 just a horrible league, man. I would have had her play the shittiest team in the league. I would have had her first game versus the shittiest team in the league. And not saying I wouldn't have called fouls on her. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say I would have called fouls on her. But she wouldn't have got no ticky-tack fouls early in the game. Hell no. Nah. No way in the world I would have gave her two ticky tack fouls in the first few minutes and made her sit down in her first game. Salute to Doug S, man. No, it's not that the rest were treating her unfairly necessary. I don't think so. They they made some good calls on her. She traveled one time. She tried to make a pass, and the person wasn't open, and she kept walking with the ball. And, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that the rest treated her unfairly. I don't think the rest treated her unfairly. I think you got the audience. You got millions of people watching, everybody watching. And then, boom, two quick fouls, and it's 30 whole minutes of real time. Not time in the game, but real time. Where everybody's like, even the announcers was like, yo, like, the fuck is this, man? 
And it, it would be one thing if, it, if she really fouled the person, but they were terrible calls. That's what I'm saying. If she went out, I'm not saying don't call fouls on Caitlyn. No, I think that would be terrible for the game to treat her differently. Because you, you, you know what I'm saying? You want to treat her the same way as everybody. But come on, man. It was just terrible, man. I thought that was terrible, man. Um, um but it w- it was a level of play. The level of play in that in that game was much higher than the than the um preseason. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I see what they're talking about about grown women. Like these girls, the team they played was the best defense team in the league though. I wouldn't have did that. It just it just doesn't make sense to have her play against the, the 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 toughest defensive team in the league in your showcase game. Like this is your game where you get to showcase to the world. Like, hey, hey, world, everybody, what? While we got everybody watching, we're gonna have her play against the fucking Detroit Pistons and shit, the bad boys and shit. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and then okay, that's fine. You are gonna do that? Fine. But then you're gonna foul. Then you're gonna give her two fouls and have her sit on the bench for the first thirty minutes of the game. It's like, oh my god, man! But now on to her game. Now on to her game. Now on to Caitlin Clark's game, how she played. How she actually played. This person says, Asia Wilson has already outscored Caitlin Clark and has played a fraction of the time. But nobody's watching that, though. Nobody knows that. Nobody knows what Asia Wilson's doing. Because nobody's watching. Nobody's watching. Nobody's watching Age of Wilson. Okay? Nobody's watching that. Yeah. Nobody's watching that. Well, the coach already said, the coach already was like, well, we're not going to play her. The coach, their coach is trying to, like, be – like the star and shit. Yeah, I didn't I don't like the way they play. I think I think they gotta just roll roll with Caitlin, man. If you're gonna lose by 20, man, you, you could have lost by 20 with Caitlin taking fucking 25 shots and giving us 30 points. Yeah, Caitlin took 15 shots and Aaliyah Boston took six. Aaliyah Boston is trash, yo. Yo, she, I don't know what happened to her. Aaliyah Boston is garbage now. Yo, let me see if everybody's saying that, man, because Aaliyah Boston is trash, is dumpster water. Aaliyah Boston is dumpster water now. She sucks. (laughs) 
<laughs> Aaliyah Boston is dumpster water, man. Yeah, Leah Boston is garbage, man. Yeah, Aaliyah Boston is trash, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm not saying she wasn't good in college and shit, but she... <laughs> God, dog. Shit. Now, I don't think Indiana's coach is trying to sabotage Caitlin. I think Indiana coach sees all the attention, and she's like, okay, this is a good chance for me to show everybody how smart I am. This is a good chance for everybody to see, look, I'm the coach. I'm coaching. Watch me coach everybody. Look at me. I'm a genius. I don't think I don't think um, Caitlin's coach is doing it. I don't think Caitlin's coach is intentionally trying to sabotage her. I think Caitlin's coach just is like, yo. Caitlin's coach is just like, yo, don't forget about me. And she's trying to like make it like she's trying to make moves that she don't have to make. Like you don't have to like tell Caitlin not to shoot logo threes. Like she's like telling Kate, she's telling Caitlin not to shoot logo threes, and it's like, why? Why are you doing that? Like, what the fuck? You you gonna lose? You you were terrible last year without her. You lost by twenty tonight with whatever game plan you had. Where well, you had her playing off the ball. I think the coach just 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 realized, yo, if I come out and I say, all right, we got here's the strategy, and it's like, yeah, look at our strategy, look at the strategy I came up with. And it's like, nah, man, you don't need no strategy, man. Well, you your strategy needs to be give Caitlin the ball and let her run the show. And you could have lost by 20 doing that. You could have lost by 20 in her first. It's a very good possibility that in Caitlin's first game, you could have gave her the keys and let her run the show and lost by 20. Because it's her first game. But you went out there and had her playing the two guard, have her stuck in the corner, have her coming down a lot of possessions, not even touching the ball. And you still lost by 20. And you had her, like, thinking twice. She, it was a couple times where it looked like she would have shot the ball, but she didn't because the coach was telling her she don't want her shooting them logo threes. May 14th, game one, is just another opportunity for us to get better so we see the big picture of how special that we can be. Like, make it count tonight. Make it count tonight. Let's go! Go! Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of the coach, but I don't think she's trying to sabotage. I think the coach wants to win. 
I think the coach wants to win like a motherfucker, but she just, she just, she's just overthinking it, man. Like telling Caitlin not to shoot three. What the fuck? What you mean not shoot logo threes? What the fuck? That's how she get her energy. That's how she play. That's her rhythm. You're trying to turn her into a role player. This coach is trying to, like, turn her into a role player without even ever seeing her play in the NBA game. WNBA game. Salute the last outlaw. He says, I, I'm ready to step up and help Caitlin. Juana man 2.0. <laughs> One stipulation. Brown Sugar got to be my manager. Yeah, man. Juana man is on the way, though. Juana man coming, man. Juana man see all his attention. One thing transgenders like, man. Transgenders love attention. Transgenders love attention. They try to act like they don't, but they do, man. Transgenders love attention. And it's a lot of attention on the league right now. So... I think a transgender is going to come and try to hijack this moment for the league. I think a transgender is going to come and try to hijack this moment for the league. Because once a transgender plays, all the attention is going to be on him. I mean, all the liberals are going to be talking about how stunning and brave he is. Um, some reporter is going to misgender him, as they say. <laughs> Some reports are going to say he, and then they're going to be like, oh, my God. They're going to be talking about it all, like, on all the channels. Oh, my God, did you hear so-and-so misgendered so-and-so? And then it's going to be like, then the transgender going to hurt one of the girls and shit. And it's going to be like, oh, is this, is this, is, is, do they really have an advantage? It's going to be so many storylines. Like, when, when a transgender finally comes into the WNBA, there's going to be so many storylines, man. It's going to be like every every week is going to be something. And you know what I'm saying? He'll be like, you know, he going you know he's going to be good. That's one thing too. Like let's be honest, man. There ain't no transgender that sucks in any of the sports. Pause. No diddy. Every sport where transgender plays, they're good. Press one. Name me the transgender that's that's not good. <laughs> Name me a transgender role player in any sport. <laughs> whether it's swimming, track, whatever. They always be good, man. So it's like, if a transgender plays in the WNBA, one thing for sure, two, one thing for certain, two things for sure, they going to be good, Jack. <laughs> so it's going to be hard to not pay them any attention. They're going to be good. They're going to be... <laughs> They're going to be good. Because <laughs> they a guy playing against a bunch of girls. So it's like, the transgender go the trans nobody ever talks about that. <laughs> that every transgender is really good. Like, think about it. Like in in male sports, some of the guys suck. A lot of the guys suck. I was just watching the Minnesota game. And Denver game, some a lot of those guys suck as far as you know, a, as far as um against other NBA players. And I was watching a little bit of the Knicks game earlier. Some of those guys are not good. And then in the W and in this game where I was watching earlier, some of those girls ain't good. Some of those girls are terrible. But every transgender that plays women's sports is good. Press one. <laughs> no matter what the sport is, every transgender that plays women's sports, every single one of them is good. Whether it's volleyball, 
whether it's swimming, whether it's um, track. Every single transgender is good. And they try to act like, and they try to ignore that. Oh, do they really have an advantage? I mean, if you think about it, man, just if you want to play stupid and be like, okay, there's no advantage unless they, they're on testosterone blockers. And if they're on testosterone blockers, it, you know, like, it, like or whatever the fuck, right? Puberty block, whatever, right? If you want to play stupid, right? Like that, like that changes anything, right? You still can't ignore the fact that every single one of them is really good in comparison to the girls. You can't ignore that. Every single one of them is really good compared to the girls. Like all of them. There's not one. There's not one transgender that's not like dominating their sport. There's no transgender Draymond Green, <laughs> a role player, or Tra Pratt Beverly. There's no transgender. Um, there's no transgender role player. Man. <laughs> they all stars, man. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, let me let me go ahead, man. Let me. But yeah, I think Caitlyn played well, man. I think Caitlyn played well, man. One thing about Caitlyn, though, is that, like, she ain't going to trip off this, man. Once she got, once she started saying, fuck the coach and started shooting her shot, because the coach had her second guessing and shit, right? The coach had, and this girl right here, I'll give you this. This girl right here, this girl right here. This girl right here, she did good, man. She played good. She got hurt. When she got hurt, that's when Caitlin, Caitlin started going off when that girl got hurt. That girl, Dejanay, what's her name? Dejanay? Dejanay, um, what's her name? Dejanay Carrington. Dejanay Carrington. It is kind of ironic that when that when that girl got hurt, Caitlyn started going off. <laughs> yeah, she she dropped a dub in her debut, and her teammates are dreadful, man. Listen, man. Gets bumped. With I'm not going to lie. Aaliyah Boston, man, God damn, she's not good, man. It ain't no way around it, man. Yo, there ain't no way around it, my G. Aaliyah Boston is not good. You can try to sugarcoat it, and you can try to. She's not good. Salute to everybody out there, man. We need nine more. No, yeah, we need nine more contributors to unlock the link, man. Nine more contributors to unlock the link, man. I got a great show for you guys tonight, man. Nine more. Oh, uh, nine more contributors to unlock the link, man. This guy said they are good against women. They suck against men. Hey, man, they not playing against men yet. They not playing against men yet, man. Why do they have to be good against men? They not supposed to play against men, man. What I was talking about earlier was some damn freak transgender dude, some crazy transgender dude coming in and, being fucking weird and shit and trying to play, trying to take all the attention for himself. 
I don't think that that shit should happen. I just said it's it's probably gonna happen because transgenders are um they hate women. Yeah, man, transgenders hate women, man. Transgenders hate women. They hate them some women, man. They hate them because they ain't them. They hate them because they ain't them. Yeah, I don't think transgenders, but yeah, I, I, th these girls look like girls playing basketball. But Caitlyn's first game, her first game, I mean, game one. Think about this, though. People are happy, though. <laughs> yo, black women are happy, yo. Yeah, look, I, I think she had an all right game, man. I think that, you know, it, being her first game in, in the professional game, man, the fact that everybody expected her to score 35 points is crazy. The fact that everybody expected to score 35 points in her first game is crazy, man. That's a, that that shows you her um her level of skill, man. People expected to score 35 points in her first game against the best defensive team in the league. And this girl right now is playing. Nobody's watching Asia. Asia Wilson. Let's see. Let's see if Asia Wilson is trending right now, man. Let's see Asia Wilson, man. Let's see how many people is, is tweeting about Asia Wilson, man. Nobody's watching her game, man. They tried to hype that shit up. No, I'm not a fan of Aja Wilson. She keep running around talking about Caitlyn's only popular because she's white. As if being white, as if, listen, as if being white is a benefit. Being white is not a benefit, yo. Being white is not a benefit right now. And being white hasn't been a benefit in like 40, 50 years, man. Asia Wilson running around talking about Caitlin Clark is only pop like like yo being a POC or a, a, a goddamn some kind of freak weirdo some kind of pronoun weirdo freak that's what's popping right now being just a, a heterosexual white person is is that is that's the worst actually it's it's it shows you how much of a how much of a star Caitlyn is. She overcame being white and heterosexual. <laughs> Caitlyn Clark overcame being white and heterosexual. She's not like intersectional. She's not a pronoun. She's not binary. She's not purple hair, blue hair. She don't have no interesting story. She's not black. She's not, you know, a struggle from the black community. And she ain't biracial. She ain't uh, Hispanic, first generation. The, the, the daughter of immigrants. Or, she don't have no, none of those stuff that's good, that's, that works right now. Indigenous and marginalized she none of that she just a straight white girl
And this girl trying and, and Asia Wilson try to act like it says Asia Wilson has 17 points in nine minutes. Who cares? Who cares? No one cares. No one cares, Asia. The only time people are going to care is when you play the fever. <laughs> Press one. <laughs> Look at that little ass stadium, too. They, their game ain't even sold out. <laughs> the only time people are going to care, Asia, is when you play the fever. If you're not playing the fever, no one cares. I don't know how white people can support her, man. And white people got white people got support her, man. White people got support her, like um, white people got to support her, even though she's saying Caitlyn's only popular because she's white. White people got to turn around and support her. And I bet you they don't show you the ratings of, age, of of this Las Vegas Aces game. I bet you they don't show you the um. I bet you they don't show you the the ratings, man. We need nine more contributors, man. To, nine more contributors to unlock the link, man. Nah, listen, man. I think, I think, um, yeah, I think that, yeah, it would have been nice for her to come out and score thirty-five. I think that would have been the WNBA's. Um, the WNBA would have it, that would have been their um their dream scenario for her to come out and score 35. But they gave her two quick fouls early, and that was that was over. She scored 20. Yeah, I do agree. The next game's not gonna be as anticipated. Will the game sell out? Probably. But will the TV audience, the TV audience is not going to be as big as it was for tonight. The TV audience is not going to be as big as it was for tonight. They had one chance and they, um, and they fucked it up. They put her against the best defensive team in the league. And they gave her two early fouls, two early bullshit fouls. So they screwed that up. But Caitlin will still be popular. The league, though, nah, the league, the league fucked up. They done. They can cancel Christmas. The league needed her. Look at this shit, man. Look at this poster, man. They try to put. You should have Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark right here. Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark and these three other nobodies need to be in the background. <laughs> these three other nobodies need to be in the background. They just don't understand, man. Fuck what them other girls are saying. Fuck what them other teams are saying. You got to focus on your stars, man. Yo, listen, 
Let me tell you something. Getting jiggy with it is a recipe for disaster in life, man. Let me tell you something. Getting jiggy with it is a recipe for disaster in life. Don't get jiggy with it. Ride that motherfucking horse. I would ride Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Man, listen, I would have had Caitlin Clark playing the worst team in the league tonight. And she would have had to fucking murder somebody to get a foul called on her. If the person ain't bleeding, it ain't a foul. <laughs> I had Caitlin Clark playing the goddamn Washington Generals tonight, man. The female Washington Generals. She is. Ain't no way I would have fucking had her playing the, the number one defensive team in the league. <laughs> Because what happened was her teammates couldn't do shit. So when her teammates couldn't do shit, that like not only was it hard for her, but it was hard for her whole team. So they just looked bad. The team looked bad. I would have put a good product out there. I wouldn't have rigged the game. I wouldn't have told the refs to rig the game. But I would have told them damn refs, hey, man. Unless Caitlyn fucking, unless Caitlyn draws blood, it ain't a foul early. You can call her against fouls late, but in the in the first quarter, you can't call her no petty fouls, man. And I'd have told this chick to shut up about race and shit. I'd have told. See, listen, man. Yeah, exactly. They didn't put a good product out. That was not a good game. That game was, the, the college games are much better. The college games are much better. The college games are much better. That This game was not a good product. It wasn't flow up and down. It wasn't, the, the girls weren't shooting a high percentage. They were falling all over the place, turning the ball over. Because that's how Connecticut's son play. They're a very good defensive team. They make the game ugly. That's why I would not have had her playing against the best defensive team in the league. Because they're going to make the game ugly. They're going to ugly up the game. That's how, they, that's, how, that's how good defensive teams play. They make you, they make it look, they, 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 they stifle you. Whoever that was, man, man, hit the goddamn PayPal Cash App or Super Chat, man. If you don't, if you got a problem with what I'm talking about, man. We need nine more contributors, man, so I can drop the link. Nine more contributors so I can drop the link, man. And and you got to stop these. Listen, you got to stop these black chicks from talking about race all the fucking time, man. You got to stop these black chicks from talking about race all the fucking time, man. They the most privileged people on the planet. They get into schools with less grades. You can't question them. They can say anything and you can't question them. 
I I don't remember the last time I've heard somebody openly question a black woman. I'm not talking about Tommy Sotomayor and Kevin Samuels. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about fucking on regular TV, on mainstream TV. I don't think, I can't remember the last time I heard someone tell a black woman that they were wrong about something. Or, hey, man, you know, you sure about that? I can't remember. Black women have so much privilege and they're running around talking about race. It's a it's it's annoying people. People are getting turned off by that shit. People are getting turned off by that shit. I think the coach needs to take the coach needs to take the the handcuffs off Caitlin, man. Stop trying to make Caitlin like a fucking um a cog in the a cog in the wheel. She's trying to make Caitlin a cog in the wheel. Nah, man. Give Caitlin the ball, let her run the show. Especially if you're going to lose by 20. Now, if they would have went out here and won and shit and Caitlin would have fucking scored 12 points or something, and they would have won. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Y'all won. So I see, I can understand what you're doing, coach. I get it. You're trying to, like, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to win the game. They lost by 20. And the coach is fucking, like, (laughs) yo, you lost by 20, man. Like, if you're going to lose by 20, man, you got – you better lose by 20 with Caitlin fucking just giving the fans, giving the fans a show. Nah, Caitlin ain't a clog in the web in the wheel. On this team, she needs to be like the Iditarod. You, you know the Iditarod where the horses where the dogs run? She needs to be the lead dog. She needs to be the lead dog. She need to be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph with your nose so bright. Won't you guide my sleigh tonight, motherfucker? She need to be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. She need to be the lead reindeer in front of the fucking sleigh. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. If you're going to lose by 20, if you're going to fucking lose by 20, why not? I agree. the The ratings for the league are going to go down. The ratings for everything's going down. They put up, they, they uh, people, people. I the ratings went down after the first quarter, man. People tuned in, and they saw her get two fouls and sit on the bench for thirty minutes, and they found something else to do. Okay, and then they checked back in. And they saw, like, her being smothered by this great defense and shit and (laughs) struggling, getting D'd up and shit. And then they turned off and they looked, found something else to do. And then that that was it. (laughs) And they fell asleep because they got to go to work in the morning. Press one. And then 
The next game was this chick who's talking about Caitlyn's only popular because she's white. So if you turn back on, if you turn back to the game, they're like, yeah, oh yeah, the game's over. Here, watch this chick who thinks that Caitlyn is only popular because she's white. Thus, all white people that white people are only supporting her because she's white, and white people aren't supporting black players because they're racist. Or at the least unconsciously biased. Watch this chick who thinks you're unconsciously biased. <laughs> the WNBA gave us fucking Caitlin Clark versus the the toughest defensive team in the league in her first game, followed by the chick that thinks all the white fans are unconsciously biased. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Great job, WNBA. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. But but what I I I think Caitlyn did great. She did she scored a dub. But my thing is, it was an ugly dub. It was an ugly twenty, man. You can't deny that. Nobody can deny that. That was an ugly twenty points. She worked for that. She worked for that, and her team her teammates are not very good. And when and, and, and when you play against the best defensive team in the league, the team that allowed the fewest points in the league last year, and your teammates aren't very good, and this is your first game, it's a bad product for the viewer. Press one. It's a It was a bad product for the viewer. And then after that, you're giving us, hey, everybody, tune in for the doubleheader. Here's the black chick, the angry black chicks that thinks all the white fans are racist. <laughs> oh, my God. Here's the league savior versus the stingiest defense in the league. We're going to give her two fouls in the first five minutes and sit her on the bench. And then we're going to follow that up with an angry black chick who thinks all the white fans are racist. Tune in next time. <laughs> The schedule, they, they make the schedule, man. They make the schedule. The, the league makes the schedule. You play, like, every team in your division twice. Then you play the teams in the other division once. It, it's, it, it, they have a method to it. They have a method to it. Yeah, no doubt. I'm not saying that it wasn't a great – she didn't score 20 points. I'm saying as a viewer watching the game, it was – like when I watch those college games, like UConn versus LSU versus um, South Carolina or South LSU versus Iowa or UConn versus Tennessee, them college games, they be fucking – the, the the level of play is is higher in those college games. This game, you had you had the, the worst team in the league, her, Caitlin Clark with the, with with a rookie playing her first game versus the best defensive team in the league. And it looked like it early. 
They smothered her. She was she had to get used to it. She it wasn't the preseason. She was playing against the starters. Her teammates are awful for the most part. Like, they got some girls that can, you know, hit some shots here and there. But Aaliyah Boston is terrible now. I don't know what happened to her. She's terrible. All three preseason games, Aaliyah Boston has been terrible. All three games this year I've seen, she's been terrible. Not just bad, she's been terrible. I mean, dreadful. Look how bad Leah Boston is. The last time somebody tweeted about Leah Boston was 54 minutes ago. The last on the game night, on the, the biggest night in, in WNBA history, the last time someone tweeted about Aaliyah Boston was 54 minutes ago. That lets you know. The last time somebody tweeted about Aaliyah Boston was 54 friggin' minutes ago. Okay. No one cares. Oh yeah, you know black people are happy that she's she black people despise her because she's white. But I give you that, like, yeah, the blacks are, uh, on 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 Twitter and Instagram, they're probably they're probably very happy that she's not uh, that she didn't play good. They're probably very happy she didn't play good. But, I mean, when I say good, I'm talking about, like, 35 points. That's how they judge her. They Black people judge her by, like, superhero standards and shit. Like, they say she didn't win the championship. <laughs> they like, she didn't win no championship. Why she get a shoe deal? <laughs> How she get a shoe deal? She didn't win the championship. <laughs> I mean, like, what the? Like, uh, <laughs> what are you talking about, man? <laughs> 